Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 17 of Wonderful Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't want to go tomorrow! By the time you see this, I already be there. My personal health. Oh my god, look at her! <laughs> so cute. And besides, Yuki agrees. Honestly, I've been waiting for this episode all freaking day. After all the other things that I had to get done. Plus doing not one, but two testing streams. And figuring out why my mic was not working on my PlayStation. Because... Sony likes to do Sony type things and such and doesn't want to add something in until you start the dang stream, which is smart, but not at the same time. I'm like, bruh. Um, so that's now already. I can officially start streaming again. So I'll be doing that tomorrow after work and what's his face. Probably for the rest of the night, maybe. I don't know. That's okay. Was that Yuki? That's okay, though. We're all ready to go. Oh. Her little flag is so cute. <laughs> Remind me of the birds. <laughs> the bird that got 
got pregnant in the house that I lived on in the naval base. <laughs> That's cute. Sotsu, what are you doing? Hmm? <gasps> That's so cute. Oh my god, look at <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Of course, oh my god! What is that? Well, honey, you, once again, you really are Anya. Because Anya can't cook either. <laughs> ah. Okay, you all have. Me, I would have been like, first, wait, we take all the pictures and then we eat. But once again, boyfriend, husband material. Yes. Yes. Like Yuki. 
Speaking of Yuki. <laughs> Girl is like, she like right there. No, no. Of course it's a tiger. Of course. Of course. Makes the most sense. Because, yes, baby is getting, like, it, it, it's her just as dues, right? It is time. Nah, Satoru, nah. But, but you see, Yuki looked and made a face. She was like, as long as, don't hurt Mayu. Oh no. Yuki.
Yuki once again with the resting bitch face. Yeah, I, I love the part, but she's like, I can't get mad at you because <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> That's beautiful. She freaking took that, ate, left no crumbs. Bye bye. Oh, please. But still, kind of follow, trail behind, because you know we we need to talk to Yuki. Yeah, and there she goes. <laughs> She's like, nope, my cat is over there. Gotta save my kitty. I like that. That's pretty. Ah. <laughs> Be like, I'm taking my owner home. Shut up.
All right. So, mm -mm. why are you apologizing? Woo, you felt the chill on that? Because I surely did too. Okay. Um. Talk about awkward, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I get it, Yuki. I get it because you are very overprotected of your owner, but that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That that just tells you how much he, you know, respects and cares for Mayu as an owner. But yes, at the same time, I do agree with the things that Yuki did say about Mayu. That yes, she's a little too overly kind. Her kindness is also going to be her weakness at the same time. Hence, right here in this moment of this episode, homegirl, she almost got hurt. But your cat came and saved the day. The transformation. That is the best one overall in the last couple of years. I know I say that almost for every freaking transformation, but they really literally don't know who all worked on this for this season, Toei, but they really all put everything in that transformation. The freaking ice, almost CGI ice. Oh, a hamster. So we gotta wait like another what two weeks until Mayu becomes a pretty girl. I mean, are, are we, it, see, because we know that by, yeah, it, it is sometime next month, next because next month is June. We know by next month it's coming. So we wouldn't really consider her a mid-season, but because of the fact is probably by the time the episode airs, that could be either 18, 19, 20, or 21, at least before 25, she might considerably be a mid-season cure. But the thing is, we as we've talked about, we do have the situation of Satoru and his bunny. Now... Once again, they put their whole freaking everything in this. Like, hold on real quick. I gotta, let me see if I can, like, no, no, okay. Nope, I gotta go back a little teeny tiny bit. Let me rewatch this real quick. Like, I love the fact that the transformation especially color wise with the rainbow effect like let me pause right right there okay right with the rainbow of colors that we have where it, it's not really a full rainbow but it's more like um shades of yellow blue and green with a little bit of purple in there it does still kind of give feels to cure cosmo which i do love i mean you know because once again Toei and pretty cure really love the crap out of their cats um, they're cat girls. Cat girls are like, I think what, like literally they're bread and butter and such, but they really love to emphasize the crap out of the cat transformations if there is essentially a cat girl possibly becoming a pretty cure in the show. Regardless, and I do like that. I think it's really good. But yeah, 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 yeah. You can definitely see the Cure Cosmo-esque in it. You can kind of see, um... Definitely, like, Yuki has the attitude of best girl Yukari, duh, or even just Cosmo herself, duh, because she's a freaking cat, but it's really pretty. Just the way she looks in the whole thing and just the blue in the background, the, like, okay, that ice right there, I gotta go back. 
it doesn't look CGI, especially when you go back and look. Like, okay. So the first, like, moment when you see the snow, Miss little freaking Elsa up in this bay. That kind of looks a little CGI, but it's not too, like, SMC CGI, okay? It, it gives a feel of, like, because I feel like when I look at SMC and the, then I look at Go Princess's CGI also with, uh, Happiness Charge, the, like, yes, even though it is still the same freaking studio that animated all three of these shows, I feel like there's different people who are really good at CGI and honing that craft and making it even better than it was for a different show. Don't know who, who all, with, when SMC was animated and when they were doing the, th the CGI transformations, who, name-wise, was in it. But we all know how that was. I'm not going to have a full-on, hour-long conversation about that because <laughs> that would be too long and i got to go to bed soon. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks CGI-ish um, right here, but it still looks 2D to the point where it's still good. Like... Maybe, you know, because it wouldn't surprise me, especially because since this and um, Girls Band Cry is airing at the same time, that possibly maybe somebody from Girls Band Cry was also helping with this and such. Maybe possibly they worked on both um, Happiness Charge and Go Princess for the CGI portions of those shows, respectively. I'm not 100% sure on that. But the blue with the... Um, Oh, I didn't even see that. They have a, the, the Aurora something, that in the background. That's really pretty. I love the purple in the middle of it, in the between. It's almost like, okay, the, the golden aspect at the bottom, that could represent like Mayu's kindness and such and everything on up. How cold Yuki is, that's her attitude right there. <laughs> like straight up. Um... The fact, okay, I, I can't even slow it down because it's too pretty. The running of the cat and that transitioning into Yuki as a human and such, that was pretty. That back, backflip, 100%. Like, oh my God. that That's something that, like, I remember I saw this really interesting edit on TikTok of <laughs> two Genshin uh, characters. Um, and I was rewatching this edit religiously, like almost every day. Um, one, one is a cat girl and the other one she has just like her, because her hair, she kind of looks like a cat girl and they did a really good simultaneously jump and turning into a flip. And it does kind of give, um, pay homage to this in this edit for it and such. And I really like that. That's good. Do more of that, please. Thank you. Um, the compact. Let's also go ahead and talk about this. I do love the fact that it does kind um one hundred percent pay homage to Sailor Moon, especially because the heart brooch was my personal favorite. Like as much as I love like early supers, uh, super and super S, the best compacts. Duh. Regardless, I don't care. The best ones, the prettiest transformations. As much as I love them all. Prettiest transformations. Prettiest brooches. I would kill for those brooches. Like, oh my god. Um, I would kill for this brooch. I surely would. I would love to get this back. I love the fact that, you know, it with this season, we're getting two different packs. That's twice the money, you know, to milk the hell out of this series, but I'm okay with that. I would still love to try to get both. Definitely, if I could. Um... But if I had to choose a favorite, like, obviously, I'm going for Yuki. As much as I love the Animal Pact, once again, every single time when I look at the Animal Pact, I'm getting very feels to the Sweets Pack or the, um, the Tropical Pack or, uh, freaking, uh, Smiles Pack and such. And so how it's like, oh, let's be very similar but I do, I, I do like the fact that they played similar with that. But at the same time, I love the fact with both Mayu and Yuki, we're like, okay, let's spin that. Let's kind of do the same thing with it, but make it completely different by making it heart-shaped. Because I can't really remember the last, like, kind of heart-shaped compact the girls had. 
for any of the pretty cares in like a hot minute because i mean regardless you know a lot of transformation bridges i'm just saying um love the makeup portion of it that's really pretty love the cat logo in it that's cute um the hair portion of a dog very very pretty I love the way her eyes, if I could, okay, right there, that's a good shot. The way her eyes look, and this is something that I like about really these three years in general, their eyes just, if I look, if we're looking at like the last couple of seasons, their eyes really pop a lot. I feel like somewhat, I don't know who doing it, but whoever doing it, you're doing a damn good job. Please continue doing what you're doing. Their eyes pop. It, it, especially with like whoever whatever color they are whether it's a pink a purple a blue a red we haven't had a i mean yeah tropical rouge yes had a red but still you know i'm ready for an orange too but you know hey you do what you do hey give me a i don't know give me a color we technically because mayu was like a teal and that's the first time we're having a teal right we've never really had like a teal pretty girl before so learning new colors yes i'm ready to see like a rose gold but you know that that's in my dreams <laughs> that's in my dreams but yeah no i love how with these girls specifically with this group um once again their eyes especially after the transformation and everything even after they really do pop it like it's the most like the prettiest feature and stuff mind you like the hair the dress the freaking outfit regardless and stuff the shoes the shoes the fashion girly in me right now. <laughs> i mean seriously the the like can we just go back to when we got the first looks of these characters and such oh my god i was going nuts on twitter i was just like oh this looks so cute oh my god but it's not to the point like because see okay if I was to wear any one of these girls' outfits, I think the only one I really would wear is Iroha because, like, I, I like her style. I love her just whole little outfit. It's, like, the cutest little thing and such. Maybe Yuki, even though I'm not really into dresses like that and stuff. But, I mean, you know, hey, I have nice legs. So, I, you know, a lot of people say, DJ, oh, my God, accentuate your legs. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to, but I do, because I have nice legs. Um, but no, yeah, eyes are really beautiful. Like, I really cannot stop looking at those. Like, God dang. Makes me really excited for my eyes. But that pose, even though we're not even at the, the actual pose pose, this pose right here, literally just the ice with little hearts on it, of course, duh. Her hair, just flawless. The outfit, freaking flawless. The leaves, looking like, I'm trying to think. Um, not embroidery. More like, um, I could say yeah, embroidery. You know those, like, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, you know the, the posted little things? Oh my god, what are they? Jesus Christ. When you are sending out letters like old-fashioned letters and stuff and like the engravement of things and you know the, those pretty yes that i really don't remember what the, almost like the penmanship i think that's what it is um that's really what it looks like especially when you have that with that pose and everything that's really pretty that's gorgeous too and then that pose is just sick once again all the cat girls would just be best friends. I'm ready to just see it. Yes, let's go. Because see, here, here's the thing. We're now about to be in June by next weekend. We still don't even know what the heck the movie's going to be about. Did, did anybody not think about that? Damn. Oh my God, that's so weird. Jesus, like, I, mind you, I haven't even seen the, the Delicious Party movie yet, and I think, I think that's already out, right? So, I don't know, maybe I'll watch it soon. Uh, I'm, like, uber busy with ish. But no, really, that was, like, that is, uh, gorgeous. 
10 out of 10. Definitely go recommend. I'm already ready and waiting to see people re-uploading all the way from Cure Black and Cure White to Nyami because that video was probably going to be about, like, I think we've already hit the 30-minute mark for the transformation sequences for Pretty Care. So, who knows? Eventually, wait until the day we get to an hour. Oh, my God. Uh, imagine reacting to that. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> one day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 17 of Wonderful Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 18. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.